What's up guys, it's Storm here. Today I've got a pretty special commentary for you guys. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the new DLC map pack that's coming out for Ghosts and my thoughts pre-release. And I've also brought in a second opinion today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Good. I'm Shady guys, what's up? Alright, so we've got Shady in here. Um, if you guys don't know who he is, uh, Shady's a lot more of a commentator than me. He posts commentaries, let's plays pretty much daily. So we, we kind of have the same upload schedule, but he's definitely a lot more on the commentary side, and he's really good at it. So his channel will be in the description, but um, let's go ahead and get into the meat of what we're talking about. Um, so I think it's January 28th or something. It's whatever Tuesday is around there that these maps are all coming out. And um, we're going to be talking about our perspective on these maps, both from a trickshotting standpoint and from a tryharding standpoint, and the thoughts on the new gun that's coming in too. So, um, I guess we'll go ahead and start off on Fog. What do you think of Fog overall, Shady? Uh, other than Mike Myers is going to be shitty. I mean, it's yeah. like really, really yeah. dark and ugly, so it's not going to be colorful unlike the rest of the game. Well, like the rest of the game, what am I talking about? But at the same time, like, I don't know, it's going to be like really easy to camp on because of that one building and stuff. So, I think everyone's going to hate yeah, that. Yeah, and that, that'll... That'll definitely come into play from a trickshotting standpoint, too. Like, kids are just going to be camping back, and it's going to be so easy to grab each other's tags, because kids are going to come out of nowhere. I mean, even if our uh, like, thing ledges, I do, I... like, on the edges of the map or whatever, it's still not going to matter, because everyone's... I know everyone's just going to funnel in there. And then... Mike yeah, Myers and from, from what I've seen farm. from the thumbnail... From what I've seen from the thumbnail, it doesn't look like those middle buildings, you're going to be able to climb on anything like that. It's probably going to be a lot like, um... What's that one big snowy map that they have in right now? Oh, uh, Whiteout? Whiteout, right? Yeah, Whiteout. It's probably going to be a lot like the city in Whiteout, so nothing too special there. But one thing I do think is going to be really kind of something special for trick shotters, if, like, this is going to be a kind of single upload one of, of these things, um, I don't know how much health the Mike Myers guy is going to have. For those of you who don't know, there's, like, a thing where you pick up a field order, and um, it actually makes you Mike Myers, so you, like, run around with an axe and stuff. But if he has somewhere close to normal health to the point where trick shotters can go on him, there's going to be a lot of single uploads on like first trick shot on Mike Myers on the new map fog or whatever. I think what they're going to do, but yeah, with that's that pretty much. Is, uh, I, I think they that. might make him like the uh, maniac, but like have his health cut in half because he's like he's not wearing armor. That might be it. But yeah. at the same time, like Mike Myers is supposed to be like the supernatural son of a bitch with a knife. Yeah, they're not going to make him have. They're not going to make him have normal health if all he's got is an axe. Yeah, I mean, be underpowered you earn him from like a, crazy. Uh, you know, field order, so it's obviously going to be you know decent. But they balance it right. If like yeah. if they make him slow, I think he'll be balanced. I I don't think two maniacs running yeah. around. Will they can't be make good. him too powerful if it's just from a field order. Yeah. Though. All right, but moving on to Bayview, this one actually does look promising for trick shotting. This is set on kind of a coast, and the whole interactive thing with the map is that you can bomb them with ships if you get the field order. But uh, other than that, it looks like a pretty decent map for trick shotting. What are your thoughts on it for a tactical gameplay perspective, Shady? Well, it looks like it's gonna be chaos because it's one of those maps that is like has like two layers to it: the bottom layer and the top layer. There's always going to be someone in the top layer. There's always going to be someone in the bottom layer. So it's going to be pretty chaotic. But at the same time, I think it's going to be pretty good because it looks like it's not like too crazy with the map flow. So hopefully hopefully the map flow isn't horrendous. Yeah, as far as trickshotting goes on that map, I think that map stands a chance to actually be decent. From what I've seen, there's tons of buildings, railings, uh, things you can jump over on that. And it, I don't know, there's going to be a lot of... I think that's going to be one of those maps where you've got like the basic trick shotting spots, but there's also a lot of little creative spots that you can find and go off of on that map. So I'm kind of excited for that one. Um, but the big thing with that is it's bright, colorful, and I think it looks a lot better than some of the maps we've seen in the past. So hopefully some shots will look really good on that map. Yeah, they actually figured out that uh, color means awesomeness. Yeah, people want color, and they only do that with one of the maps in this pack. But moving on to containment, I think this is going to be a big one for both um, Red Gunners and Trick Shotters. What do you think? I think it's going to be like Liberation, the DLC map in um, MW3. Because that bridge part reminds me of the underpass part that everyone like usually runs through. And it's pretty much like the only spot you'll ever really find a big group of people. So I'm kind of worried about that. Yeah, that is true. At the same time, like it looks like everything around the map looks like uh, it's gonna be high traffic. So maybe 
Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. See, the I think as far as trick shotting goes, the only spot that I've seen on that map has been the middle part, but that could kind of be good if that's the big main central part because it looks like it's a lot higher than the bridges that we've had on MW3, so the, it definitely looks like there's a height where you can go for shots. Oh, yeah, definitely. It'll be great for dropbacks. Yeah, the height looks great, but if that is a high traffic area, that's kind of nice because people on Ghost like to camp a lot so we can get people out in the open and... I don't know, we kind of have more chances to go for I'd stuff. I'd say that that drop on the middle, I'd say that's about the height of the drop on Prison Break when people go off the building. I think that's about the drop. Yeah, it's somewhere It's somewhere between, like, I think the Prison Break drop and maybe, like, the drop that's not the huge one on Stormfront. Like, the Stormfront drop back, you know what yeah, I'm talking about? One. The one, like, right at, um, in the building next to uh, that one bomb site. The, the bomb, yeah. yeah. Bomb. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so moving on to Ignition. This is the one that people have been the most excited about. This is like the kind of Scrapyard remake. Um, personally, I have my doubts, but we'll start off with your opinion, Shady. Well, it's a remake. It, the thing about a remake is that it's going to play almost exactly the same way as the original, unless they take out like lines of sights or they add a new pathway or something. Like I remember hearing someone say that, that there's an underground pathway, so if that happens and... I don't know, it could change the entire way Ignition will be played. But at the same time... See, the other see thing about IEDs that is... at both it's, ends of that underground pathway. That's what I see. Yeah, but it's also a remake of an MW2 map that, if you tried to play online a lot, it was just frequently noob tubes, so it could kind of play different in that aspect. Yeah, not, not a lot of people use noob tubes in uh, Ghosts. Like, maybe 2% of the yeah. entire population uses them. Yeah, so... I don't know, with more red guns, it could play a lot differently. Because on MW2, when you played a normal game in that, it was kind of riddled with noob tubes and spaz 12s. Yeah. But as far as trickshotting standpoint, everyone's excited. Because, it, it, yeah, it's Scrapyard coming back. But I actually have my doubts. If you look at the thumbnail of this, um, it, it looks really, really questionable about whether you're going to be able to get on the parts that were the planes on Scrapyard. And that's the whole middle of the map. For trickshotting to be good on that map, we need to be able to get on top of those, um, what, I don't know what they've remade them into, but it's, it looks like stone tunnels, but we need to be able to get on top of those for it to be a good map for trickshotting, um, because here's the thing, everyone's pumped for the wallbang building and, like, the ladder stall building, that one in the back, but one, that's only one half of the map, it's hard to get people into one single building when you're trickshotting on ghosts, because they all like to camp and camp and camp some more, and also... Kind of the unfortunate thing is everything on that map look at, like looks like it's made from solid stone. Uh, so you're going to have to have someone like inside the building to get off a shot on them from that ladder stall. I think you can hit it with armor piercing. I don't know, that's though. just my opinion. Armor piercing is really good in this Armor game. piercing, yeah. Yeah, that could be a possibility, but it's definitely going to be a well, map that's... I think... It's going to be tricky to get someone in position I think, for that. Um, just by judging... Like, I'm, I'm zoomed into the thumbnail of it. I think you will get, be able to get up on it from the truck. Because the truck looks like it has a nice height for you to get on it, but you might need, like, agility or something to get, actually get on top See, of it. See, yeah, that's that is what I was thinking, too. The problem, it might be a spot that you have to strafe to or something, just like you had to do on freight. But the thing is, we don't know what's on the other side of that bus. Like, it's a bus, so it could not have that part where you climb on it. You know what I mean, yeah. Shady? So if it doesn't really have that, then the majority of the map's going to be flat. But we're going to have to see um, when the actual map pack comes oh, bro, out. Okay, bro, moving oh, on before to... We, before we go to uh, the weapon, I do want to say this. If my retard spot from OT is still there, I'm going to hit all the bills. I just want to say that. <laughs> Shady hit like a shot off like a two-foot ledge on uh, Scrapyard. It was the worst thing I've ever <laughs> it seen. It was pretty bad, but, but I'm moving, proud of it. Moving on to this... This Maverick weapon that they're bringing out, the assault rifle and sniper rifle. I'll let you put your opinion on this one first, because I think you know where I stand. All right, this. so this is what everybody's afraid of. It's they when we saw leaked images of the poster from those retards at GameStop. It said Maverick assault rifle and sniper, and people were scared. And at first, I thought that meant like you're gonna have like dual sights, like you're gonna have a scope on top, and then it like. In some games, not in Call of Duty, I don't think they do that, but in some games, they'll let you, like, kind of, like, twist the gun sideways, and there's iron sights right there that you could use. I thought that was going to be the case, but actually, it's it's not that at all. So, the original gun's going to be an assault rifle, 
which could be good, it could be bad. It all depends on the damage and fire of the weapon and the accuracy and all, all the other stuff that goes into what makes a gun good. But what makes it a sniper is that it has a sniper kit. So an attachment that's going to be unique to this weapon is a sniper kit. It's going to have its own special scope, and then it's going to have a barrel extender to allow like larger caliber bullets to go through. So that's basically what they so, do. So if I'm correct here, that means that you can't just in mid-game swap back from assault rifle to sniper. You have to equip it. Well, unless you have two classes, you know. You need two classes to do it. True, true. But it, it's not like people are going to be running around the map with an assault rifle, get to a building, and then like in that same life be able to switch it to a sniper rifle. Which, in a way, I'm kind of disappointed for. Because, one, while it would have it would have played annoying as hell, but let's face it, that's ghosts. Um... But that would have made for some really cool trick shots, like a kit switch kind of thing, um, something like that. But where I do find promise, I, I have my my doubts about this weapon. Some of those doubts are that um, it could hit mark a lot, just based on the fact that I don't think they're going to make it super, super powerful, just from what I've seen. Yeah, um, it looks like it's going to be semi-automatic. And it could look kind of strange, yeah. But, I mean, that wouldn't be any different from... Um, but then there's one other Honestly, trick shotting that... with a marksman rifle. Um, if you don't have, like, if the caliber of the bullets are going to stay the same, like, they don't change the bullets out or whatever, then that also brings a question, yeah. well, is it going to be a marksman rifle more than a sniper rifle? Because marksman rifles are basically Yeah, see, that's rifles. kind of what I think it might be. And if so, it's kind of useless for trick shot. Yeah. But, um, a, a big plus to this weapon is that I've seen the scope for it, and it looks actually really cool, so I might try and make a couple trick shot tutorials based around that. It really looks like an awesome scope, guys. And yeah, from what I've seen, tech. if you do any shots dealing with the scope, real high tech, real sexy. Um, it's going to look awesome. Yeah, it's going to look good. But anyway, um, guys, that's been our commentary about this. We'll obviously see when the map packs come out. I think that day Shady will be having some breakdowns of the maps, and I'll be having trick shotting spots all over the place. So that'll be a four or five upload day. I'll be busy for that, definitely. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Um, it's been a pretty long one, but... You know, we really went in depth in this one and broke it down. So uh, definitely check out Shady's channel in the description if you enjoyed the commentary. Um, do you have anything else to say, Shady, before we're done? Bro, I'm ready for that extinction. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we're out.